Okay, g'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Uh, this is the second game in the semi-finals, I think. Um, game 16 between Butterhawk and Regile uh, and uh, Matri and Moofish. We're playing... So we've got uh, Matri down here going... Um, UEF, Butterhawk opposite him, uh, going Aeon, we've got Moofish up here going UEF again, so we've got a UEF matchup and a Seraphim for Regile. Bring a power generator, which is kind of odd because you've got the, the um, Hydro right there. Um, there is metric butt-tons of mass on this, including these large lumps of mass in the middle, so it uh, can be a bit of a race to see who can get there. Um, base layout is always interesting to me in, on this map as well, because if you can't really go for uh, full-on adjacency on the hydro, um, but everything else is uh, not quite not quite going to work so where are we going with this we've got a uh, lab and scout hair uh, they are very sensibly ignoring that uh, area which normally engineers would be going to and instead they're going to pick up a couple of engineer kills here can one of them escape in time very unlikely um, but they don't target that. Target that one. Uh, and the, the terrain just defeats them for a moment there. They, he does get the reclaim, which is pretty nice. And we've got a mech marine out to try and combat that. Uh, they're going to make much difference. So we've got Matri and Moofish immediately moving to the, that uh, those center, center positions. And in almost immediately we've got a battle going on here. Are we going to see some competition here? What's going to... How's that going to play out? Got a bit of a cheeky lab run by here as well, being blocked by the mass extractor. Um, I think the Regile hasn't uh, really noticed that going on, so that's uh, a bit of a loss. Regile isn't moving out of his base yet. Um, so these guys are kind of trading blows. We've got a few um, troops here which should just feed Vet to Butterhawk. Um, what's Butterhawk going to do? He's got a point defense going down uh, here and it short will shortly will become quite uncomfortable to be around there. Um, but um, Matri has finally stepped into range so that uh, the um, point defense can see him. We've got some labs taking out the uh, final incursion there. Um, got a bit of a run by happening here and a few uh, a bit of a run by uh, being sent up here. So where are we going? We've got another point defense being pinged out um, by the uh, Auroras at range. They could easily advance up and uh, take that on. That la land factory doesn't really look like it's long for this world and uh, Regile has moved in to try and stop this incursion here. Um, we do have that uh, point defense still at full health and a uh, second one going up here, so it's going to be very difficult for um, uh, for uh, Butterhawk to take out that. Um, but his um, Moofish is sorry, Matri is uh, sending in troops to their doom. Otherwise, uh, got a third point defense going down here. Um, and are we going to see, yes, we're going to see a factory go up uh, in the back here. We've got lots of mech marines going up. Um, 
and uh, Regile being merrily pelted with shells as he uh, does a bit of cleaning up on this incursion on this side. Um, Moofish getting in a point defense here as well. Um, so these two guys defending those sides, but I, I like this, the look of this. This is very good use of troops. Uh, send them where your opponents aren't. That's the thing I <laughs> keep on trying to learn. Um, we've got uh, some good run buys going on here, and they're starting to pick off the um, support. If they can get into the base, yep, they've been spotted, but they've only got mech marines to go on. They don't have any scouts, so they're going to be pretty hampered by what they can see. Uh, let's just look at that from Matry's position. You cannot see them there, and Butterhawk can't see anything around where he is. Um, so they're just going to have to move blind there. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, Matry um, looks like he's trying to stay out of trouble. Got Butterhawk going for the range gun, which is a good alternative there. Um, Moofish still sending in troops um, to try and uh, consolidate a position there. Meanwhile, he's got to deal with this incursion over on this side of his base, um, which these Lobos will have a bit of a problem with because the, the uh, our auroras will easily be able to move faster than them. Um, pretty good rate on getting that uh, range gun up. Looks like uh, Butterhawk's got his economy worked out. We've got plenty of... Looks like we've got two, three... No. I thought they were upgrading, but no, they're just producing units. So we've got a good force of units here. And that's definitely occupied uh, Matry and Moofish, that little raid there. So that's uh, good work. We've got Butterhawk now starting to lay down shots at range, um, which is going to really um, punish. What can Butterhawk see there? Because if he's got radar, he has radar, so he's got plenty of vision. He could easily start picking off those... Uh, point defense and making inroads there. No progress on getting those um, those mexes back. And looks like Regile has taken control of that midpoint with a lot of zooies. And um, yep, uh, Moofish is desperately trying to get a. Um, uh, a PD up, but he's not going to make that. Um, the Lobos are just not going to do well against the commander here, uh, and those Zooies are going to easily take out the rest of that base. Um, Butterhook going for the speed gun as well. That's going to be a pretty formidable um, commander to take on, even with that many uh, troops there. But uh, another run by uh, picking off troops uh, and what's Moofish's tactic here where is he going he's got plenty of health but his base is basically going to be completely annihilated and now he's a bit between a rock and a hard place uh, if I were you I'd go into this um, and see if you can lay down a few shots but no he's, uh, it's going to be very bad for him he's got Zooey's He's got a commander, he's well in range of the auroras, and uh, is the uh, health just melting off. This is not a good sign. And yep, there's Butterhawk come in with the uh, range and speed gun, laying down. Um, there's, there goes Moofish. We've got a T2 point defense. Um, but it's just going to take ages to pick away at that horde of auroras there. Um, 
you never know, it might be okay. Um, Matt Tree is getting stuff done over there, but no, he's been targeted. He's got um, Fervors inbound as well. He's going to have to dodge like crazy. It just doesn't make it. So that was a pretty quick game. Um, and the tables turned pretty quickly too. That was very interesting. Um, Matt Tree and Moofish got those early mid places, but it just was a bit too hard to defend them. And on a map like this where there's lots of different avenues, you can send units pretty much anywhere you like. Uh, there's no lanes or you know, annoying mountains. Uh, that's uh, difficult to get around. So good game all and I'll see you next game.